pretty much my story is I had um, my first dose of Pfizer vaccine about two months ago. Um, within 15 minutes of getting the injection into my arm, um, I started getting like hot sweats, I started getting a bit dizzy, and then I started having my version of fitting, so that's my whole body just shaking uncontrollably. Um, for me, that lasted for the first time um, 45 minutes straight. Um, I was at the clinic and they told me that it wasn't a side effect from the vaccine, that I was nervous. So they just told me to lay down and I was just shaking. Um, anyway, long story short, they told me not to go to the hospital because um, it wasn't a reaction. They went on the Pfizer website or whatever, it wasn't a reaction. Anyway, so my friend helped me to the car to just go home and rest um, and I was still like this, my whole body. It was really scary. Um, it wasn't a, um, it wasn't a panic attack. I wasn't anxious. Um, anyway, fast forward a couple of days. Um, I didn't feel too good, but then I started having another one of those fits again. Um, it's not a seizure because I was conscious. So I don't know what medical terminology it is, but my whole body is like this shaking for the second one was an hour and a half. Um, I, for me personally, it was like my jaw would start to lock, my hands would go really um, like clammy, my whole body, and I'd start shaking from there. And it was actually really painful, like my um, the just because your muscles are spasming so much, it, it's kind of like an F45 workout, but like hectic craziness. Anyway, so. I actually called the COVID hotline and said, hey, this is what I'm experiencing. Um, they told me to call an ambulance, so I did. Um, I obviously had heart palpitations as well as the shaking and things like that. Um, so after about an hour and a half, it stopped. Um, so this is like six weeks ago, maybe like seven, eight weeks ago, two months ago, let's just say two months ago. Um, and I've been in the hospital in and out so much in between then. The hospitals and doctors weren't sure what was going on. They hadn't really seen it. Um, but I found the first time I went in, they weren't really sure. But the last time I went in, like two or three weeks ago, they're starting to see more people with my symptoms. Um, so anyway, so I'm dealing with really bad, bad chest pains. Um, it's like really bad pressure on my chest. My cardiologist has diagnosed me with pericarditis, which is inflammation of the heart sac. Um, so where your heart is and then the sac is, there's fluid in between and it causes a lot of pain. So I've got pretty much 24-7 chest pain, really, really painful. Um, I'm starting a medic some medication for that called um, Colchicine. So that's actually a gout medication. It's, um, it helps with arthritis, so inflammation. So apparently it's, um, it's good for people with pericarditis anyway to help with inflammation. Um, pretty much 90% of all medical doctors and staff dismissed my symptoms, said I was anxious, so then I had to go pay to see a psychiatrist to rule out that it was mental. He obviously was disgusted and said it's not anxiety, that it is something from the vaccine. Um, so I went back to the hospital with that report from the psychiatrist, um, and then they referred me to see a neurologist, so apparently they think it's something to do with my brain. Um, yeah, fun times, but um, because I haven't got much help from the medical system, um, I reached out to the community, essentially. I've been speaking out. I've had a lot of trolls, obviously, um, but I'm just speaking out because the more information I find that helps me, I want to be able to share that and help other people. So, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much like what I'm trying to do with this. I'm not trying to say, oh, one thing I should probably say as well, I'm definitely not telling people to not get vaccinated. I think, um, you know, it should be anyone's choice to do what they want to do. Um, you know, where I live at the moment, 90% of people are vaccinated, so that's great. Um, I'm really happy for the majority of people that didn't have any adverse side effects. The reason why I'm speaking out isn't to say don't get back. The reason I'm speaking out is for that small percentage of people who are injured, we don't really have much help. Um, and doctors and medical people in Australia have been told that if they don't, um, if they say anything that doesn't sort of go with getting vaccinated, they have the, um, they could lose their license essentially. So a lot of people are not able to speak out even if their opinions you know, don't, aren't in line with the governments, but that's a whole nother debacle and I'm not going to get into politics.